was my 5 a.m. phase. Um, I noticed somebody was like, oh, we're waiting for the ending, so I had to watch it again to see where I had left off. Hopefully YouTube doesn't hate me so much this time. Okay, so they had the fleas in there, and they every night they prayed that the fleas would go away because it was just, you know, adding insult to injury to them that uh, they were being eaten alive, you know, and starving and everything else. So they'd pray every night, you know, re she would read a passage, and they would all just pray, oh, the fleas, the fleas. So um, they had never gotten searched. There was never um, any Nazi uh, people come in and found the Bible or even heard them praying because, you know, they weren't allowed to have any, uh, you know, books or anything, let alone a Bible, and they they would have been killed. So, um, anyway, it was it's fantastic that they they didn't get busted, the these uh, women in this camp. And yet, you know, they kept praying for the fleas to go away. Well, it was found later that the reason that they didn't get busted and the reason that the Bible wasn't taken from them was because the guards themselves didn't want to go into the flea pit. So what they were praying for was for the fleas to go away. If the fleas weren't there, they would not have had the Bible. Um, they wouldn't have been able to read the passages or the Psalms or whatever it is that they were, um, you know, hanging on to, um, or message, whatever, that they wouldn't have had that if it wasn't for the fleas. So, yes, there is a bright side. That's what I was um, trying to get to, is that there absolutely is a bright side to any tragedy. And I myself have been through two uh, Category 5 hurricanes, uh, Francis and Jean. Um, it was declared a national disaster here in Vero Beach, Florida. It was before uh, Katrina, and we didn't get the coverage. We didn't get the help, and, uh, you know, we had been through it as soon as the power came on. And when you don't have power in Florida, you don't have water in Florida because everything's run on a pump. So imagine over 100 degrees, no water and no food, no gasoline to even get out. Everybody wiped that out. You know, blah, 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 blah. But then to the power to come on, and everybody goes, yeah! And the news says, now Gene is on its way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just like, oh, what? Is this a nightmare? <laughs> like, so, anyway, but there was a bright side on that. Because, you know, unfortunately, you know, some people that thought they wanted to live here for whatever reason they wanted to, which, come on, let's get real, the tourists that come down here and they just, you know, go to the beaches and they throw their garbage and they do whatever and they don't respect it because they're going back up north, you know, they didn't stick around. They didn't have it. So, um, I'm, I'm not so sad that, that that happened, you know, because I got through it. I mean, it sucked. You know, but, uh, and a lot of people got hurt and whatever, but, you know, there, there still was a bright side. You know, the community got together and those of us that have lived here, you know, for, you know, a large quantity of time, you know, we stuck around and the people that weren't really here for the community, that were here for a fun time and didn't want to participate in any kind of restoration or anything like that, they left. So... The troopers are still here. The real Floridians. Yeah, so, anyway, that's my bright side on that. Call it demented, whatever. But uh, also, I wanted to say that, you know, when there is uh, a bright side, you know, and things aren't so bad, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be a mama bear or a papa bear because there's always going to be some corrupt people and in corruption and um you know swindlers and you know things like that you gotta watch out you gotta watch out for the youth i don't have any kids i don't even have a man but for some reason you know i feel compelled that um you know as an intelligent individual or 
um, a computer literate individual to keep up and when I hear something that uh, you know concerns me I look into it you know I'm not out there with signs I'm not going crazy but I look into it and I ask officials and I ask people what's going on and I get them to notice that somebody is noticing and that makes a difference so yep everything is alright we just gotta make sure it doesn't change peace out there's your story like my morning face morning Mayan this is my nighttime night dead walker <laughs> alright later it's blazing meadow